time for Monday Blues, and on this show, that means we're previewing some fun and entertainment about to go down in Waikiki. Blue Know Hawaii is where it's at, and that's where our Mikey Moniz is standing by live with a special guest. Let's check in with him now. Mikey. Hey, Mikey! That's right, John and Tanya. We are live here at Blue Know Hawaii with our good friend of KH12 and Living 808. Paulo Fuga, ladies and gentlemen, turn up your speakers. Aloha, kakahiaka. <laughs> it is a good morning. How are you doing? I'm so good. I'm excited. I just got off a, of, you know, I'm doing a little island tour of um, Hawaii for my the release of my album and getting ready to perform at Blue Note. And just so excited about that. Um, I'm here early this morning with my band. We just got in from... Kona, we had a bunch of sold out shows on Maui and the Big Island and we're looking forward to being here home on Oahu. I love it. And, you know, and we've been keeping up with you all over social media and you know, you've been all throughout the news. Um, love the new album, you know, we're gonna get a little preview of that in a second. But let's talk about the past year and a half. How has COVID affected you creatively in the music industry? Well, you know, we had to really be creative in thinking of ways that we can still get our music out there, still connect to our fans and our audience that support and love us so much. And there have been many opportunities, you know, for us to be able to perform and still connect with the people that care about us and our music. So, I love yeah, that. we're grateful for that. And it's good to have music, especially during these, like, weird times, right? Like, especially, like... When you don't know what's going on, music is something that you can always turn to. Now, speaking of music and speaking of your new album, what can fans expect from it? Well, fans can expect to hear a more matured side of me. You know, I think that my songwriting has grown a lot. And also the production of the music. Um, if you think about my first album, mm -hmm. I was just brand new getting into all of this. I never knew anything and neither did any of my friends, you know, and we've all come a long way. And I've made this album with Brad Watanabe, who's here with me today on bass, and also my keyboardist, Ethan Capone, and they're just phenomenal musicians. And you can hear all the love and the heart and soul that each musician has put into this making this album. Of course, Mike Love is my brother and one of um, the producers of the album as well. And, you know, I, I just really hope that the music, you know, touches people's hearts and mm -hmm. takes root in their hearts and helps them to heal through whatever experiences or things that they need healing from. And that's, that's why I play music and that's the thing that I look forward to the most for each live performance anytime, you know what I mean? Because well music said. helps people to heal. Yeah, no, well said. And not only can your fans hear you through your studio album, but they can also hear you live at Blue Note. What yes. can they expect? Any new songs? Yes, I'll be playing a lot of the songs from the album and a lot of songs from my old albums and things like that. And, you know, they can just expect to feel, you know, I mm -hmm. think that the unique thing about me is I'm able to tap into those emotions easily. And when I sing, I project those emotions so the listener can also feel what I'm singing too, not just hear it. And I think that's what makes me special. And I think that's the thing that people look forward to the most when they come out to see me perform. I agree. And you know what's very special is Blue Note Hawaii itself, you know. Um, let's talk about the, the venue and why you think it's great for artists and musicians alike. Well, the beautiful thing about Blue Note is that it's a venue that was created for entertainment, you know, so for music. Music is the main focus of the Blue Note whenever, whenever you come through. So you can expect that people are here with open ears and open hearts, ready to receive whatever messages or whatever music you want to share, you know. Mm -hmm. And I think that's such a beautiful thing about this venue is that like a lot of venues, you know, clubs or things like that they're they're made for like a party scene you know and then the music is the second secondary thing about it but the main attraction of any blue note show is the entertainment that that is here on this amazing stage and i've gotten to see so many people and it's just a it's just a beautiful place. The staff always take good care of us. I always order something that's not <laughs> on the menu, and they always take care of me, and they hook it up. You know what I mean? And love that. I love all the people here. Martha, Amanda, um, Tyler, and I, and I miss all the old staff, too. No, they're know? so like, great. They're so great, too. We us. love them. 
Okay, so we're going to get a little preview of what you're going to be performing at Blue Note. What are you going to be singing to us this morning? I'm going to be singing two songs off of my new album. The first one is called Just a Little Bit. All right, cool. So can we hear Just a Little Bit? Sure can. <laughs> okay. All right, everybody. So I'm going to move out of your way, Paula. Thank you guys so much. And we are going to hear just a little bit of her song. Thank you, Paula. Take it away, babe. Thank you.